this morning i have been asking the lord what i should share with you so he gave me this scripture verse which you find in matthew chapter 11 uh that passage i want to read that to you um matthew chapter 11 the last few verses from verse 25 to 30 matthew chapter 11 verse 25 to 30 let's read the scriptures <coughs> At that time Jesus declared I thank you Father Lord of heaven and earth that you have hidden these things from the wise and understanding and revealed them to little children Yes Father for such was your gracious will All things have been handed over to me by my Father and no one knows the Son except the Father and no one knows the Father except the Son and any one to whom the son chooses to reveal him come to me all who labor and are heavy laden and i will give you rest take my yoke upon you and learn from me for i am gentle and lowly in heart and you will find rest for your souls for my yoke is easy and my burden is light You know there's a powerful promise here you know God is saying come to me all who weary and are heavy laden and he says I will give you rest you know the condition there's a certain group of people they are weary and they are heavy laden and to them he's giving an invitation come to me and I will give you rest you know today we live in a world where we talk more about stress than rest you know constantly you know psychiatrists and you know people who deal with our inner part you know they always come up with various things you know how to handle stress how to you know have a peace of mind peace of heart but i want you to understand that what god has promised us is a life of rest but very often you know we struggle with restlessness we struggle with worry anxiety and fear you know that is not god's plan you know you as you know most of the sickness that we have in our body actually from within it attacks our body you know various kinds of sickness that we get they say it is because of what happens in our heart and mind you know what we think the worries the stress the anxiety and all that we have you know this is what comes and you know brings us the imbalance you know we come under stress we come under the load and we get crushed we get discouraged and sometimes you know we are oppressed by the enemy but this morning i want you to understand that god desires you to have rest you know rest in your soul in a world of restlessness you know rest in the midst of all the chaos that is around you you know if you go to read the papers you know your pressure levels will go up you know last saturday you know i just skim through the papers and it said you know this year alone up to september there have been 435 murders in sri lanka and you know uh, the rape rate has increased and child abuse has increased and on the other side you know the cost of living is skyrocketing you know every day you know prices are going up uh, and all this can come on us and it can crush us it can you know really bring such a heavy burden upon us how am i going to face this situation how am i going to face this challenge how am i going to overcome but this morning i want to tell you you know the promise of god is to care for you he said come to me all who are weary and heavy laden and i will give you rest and in another place he says cast all your anxieties upon me you know it's casting means you know it's like so you take something and you throw it away 
and he says cast all your anxieties upon me why he says because i care for you but in spite of all these promises you know what do we do you know we choose to live contrary to the direction and guidance of god though god has told us you know i want to give you rest though god has told us i want to give you peace though god has promised rest in our souls what do we do we constantly worry we constantly fear we are constantly anxious we are troubled and we carry the weight of all our problems you know on top of that you know the society and the people around us you know they come and put burdens on us and all that eventually crushes us and then what happens we become depressed and the moment we become depressed we lose the joy and the bible says the joy of the lord is your strength and the moment you lose your joy you lose the strength and the ability to live so this morning you know i want to talk to you about rest but before that you know god is saying here come to me what does this mean you know when god says come to me what god is saying is now physically jesus is not standing here for you to come maybe his presence is here he is maybe is right there near you uh, maybe he is in this place somewhere watching all of you but when he says come the idea is that you believe believe when you say god says come when you believe and open your heart to the lord jesus what are you doing you are coming under the lordship of jesus christ you are submitting submitting to his lordship now last week uh, pastor christo was sharing you know it's one thing to receive a miracle from god and it's another thing to entrust your whole life to god you know to, if you want to have peace in the midst of all that is happening around you and rest in your soul what do you do you must be willing to fully launch out your life trusting in the word of god trusting and believing god coming under the promises of god entrusting your entire life to god you don't come to church you know okay i have a headache or i have a financial need i have this problem that problem and i want god to answer you know that is not the idea you know god may want to do a miracle he may want to answer some need in your life yes he does it but if you want to continuously if you want to walk and have the peace and rest of god you know what do you have to do you have to entrust your entire life to god you know that's what child like faith means you know when god says you know a little child if you take a ch- little child is not worried about you know anything you know uh, he is not worried about you know how am i going to get the meals who is going to buy the rice buy the milk the little child is not worried about you know how he is going to go to school or you know none of that worry is never there you know they will ask whatever they want and uh, you know they will demand things but they are not worried why <laughs> because that is child like faith now when god <laughs> expects you he wants you to be like that with the heavenly father you know this knowledge comes out of revelation you must know who your father is you know the god almighty the one who can sustain you the one who created the whole universe and the whole world one who sustains everything by the power of his word he is your heavenly father he is your god and when you entrust your life to him God is able to care for all your needs he is able to lead you guide you direct you order in your footsteps counsel you strengthen you help you he is there with you all the time to help you all the way through so what do you do you surrender your entire life to god very often what happens our relationship with the father is something like sometimes you know we don't have even the even the even a full revelation or the knowledge of god so what happens sometimes even we tend to fear whether even he is able to save me out of this trouble you know uh, okay i am trusting god 
but i must have a plan b you know <laughs> once one pastor told me you know he went to a minister's place another servant of god you know before coming to christ you know he was a athlete you know he used to train people uh, for athletics and all that he had lot of awards so whenever he went all those awards or everything that he had was well polished and kept very clean and tidy well polished so then this servant asked him you know okay now you are coming to full time ministry you know uh, why are you still polishing all these things and keeping so he said you know if some suddenly you know if the lord abandons me where do i go you know i have to go back to this you know that is the i have to you know have something a plan b to fall back on you know sometimes you know we are also like that you know we 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 don't fully trust god you know sometimes you know it's very sad sometimes it breaks my heart sometimes it breaks the heart of god you know we don't know the awesomeness of the god we serve our heavenly father we don't have the full revelation of who our god is he's such an awesome god nothing is impossible with god he can meet any of your need at any time in your life and he can sustain you he can do a miracle or he can give you the strength to go through the fire he may sometimes he may remove the problem but sometimes he may say no i want you to go through this but i am going to be with you you know but god will never let you down you put your trust in god god says you will never be put to shame god will never put you to shame you can trust in man man may fail you you can trust in your bank balance that may fail you you can trust in your job you may lose your job you can trust in your ch- children you know they may abandon you but god says you even your mother will forsake you but i will never forsake you know that is the promise of god so this morning you know i you know if you want to walk in rest if you want to have peace and joy you know i want you to understand that you fully entrust your life in the hands of god you know whatever happens i am putting my life in your hands i am going to 100% trust you and i'm going to launch out my life you know trusting in your word you know i thought here after i must bring the bible to the pulpit because whenever i want to show you know <laughs> trusting in god's word i'm lifting the phone because i have the bible here but i want you to understand trust in god's word and launch out in faith trusting god god will never fail you god will never fail you i want to tell you that you know governments may fail you you know the, the, the some of the brightest you know institution you know whatever that you put your trust in they may fail you but god says he will never fail you but remember he may not order in your footsteps the way you like sometimes sometimes you know the way god works things out for you you know sometimes it may not be the way you want it to be why because he says his ways are higher than our ways you know sometimes you know we don't like that but he knows what is good for us what is best for us and according to that god will ordain our footsteps so here you find in matthew 11 chapter 25 jesus declaring i thank you lord of heaven and earth that you have hidden these things from the wise and understanding and reveal them to little children here you find two words hidden and reveal you have hidden these things from the wise and the learner you know this doesn't mean you know god is anti intellectual or anything like that but what we must understand is you know we can't comprehend the things of god by our intellect you know god has to reveal things to us you know you we may be wise we may be understanding you know sometimes you know we may even know the whole bible from genesis to revelation but if you want to really know god it has to come as a revelation 
Now that's why Jesus is saying here, I thank you Father, you have not hidden these things from the wise and the learned, but you have revealed them to little children. Little children means, you know, as I said, who just come trusting God. When they come trusting God, what happens? God reveals his glory to you. God reveals who he is to you. And what happens when you have that knowledge of God? Now I'm I'm telling you, you know, this is something that you will not find in a Bible school. You will not, you know, get this by reading books and things like that, but it comes out of your walk with God. Out of your time spent with God. Out of the revelation that comes out when you read the word of God. God reveals to you who he is. You know, when Moses was up in the mountain, what did God say? Moses said, you know, uh, I, you're sending me to Egypt, to that mighty king, Pharaoh. If, if he asks, you know, who sent you? Who am I to, what am I to tell? What, what did God say? He just said to us, you know, say that I am has sent you. I am has sent you. That time, Moses had a revelation of who God is. You know, we must have this kind of revelation if we want to walk with God. Even in difficult times, hard times. We must know the God we serve. We must have a knowledge of who our God is. He's a God of love. He's a God of compassion. He's a God who heals. He's a God who restores. He's a shepherd. He's a God who gives us strength, joy, peace. And he's a God who, you know, sustains us in the midst of all the difficult times. God is the one who... So, so sometimes, you know, while you're sitting in a service like this, the Holy Spirit may give you the revelation. You know, some aspect of God. You know, you're going through some problem and God will reveal himself to you in a certain way where you're able to trust him. You're able to hold on to him. And you know that he is there and he's going to help you and he's going to bless you. So that's why, you know, Paul writing to the Ephesians, he prayed this prayer. You know, give me the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of God. You know, we need to ask God. Ask God. You know, people who have asked, God has revealed. Moses cried out to God and said, reveal, show me who you are. You know, while the Israelites down there, you know, they were asking, you know, for meat and manna and what to eat and thinking about what they left from Egypt and came, the leeks and lettuce and onions and all that. What was Moses asking? He was not asking for meat or bread or whatever. He said, show me your glory. What did Paul the Apostle ask? He said, you know, I want to know you and the power of your resurrection. I want to know you. You know, this is very important. Otherwise, you know, if we don't come to know God in such personal way, you know, this Christianity can become just another religion. You know, we can come and we can worship God, but we will not have that, have that solid anchor, you know, on which, you know, we can place our souls to trust God in our difficult times. Now again, you, he says here, verse 26, verse 27, all things have been handed over to me by my Father, and no one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son chooses to reveal Him. So this morning, I want to tell you the Son has chosen to reveal himself to you. You know, if God has not chosen to reveal himself to you, you will not be here this morning. But the good news is, God has chosen to reveal himself to you. You know, there are always two sides, what they call it, 
you know god's sovereignty and human responsibility you know as humans we must make a step of faith to trust god but then god says sovereignly he chooses people to reveal himself to them who he is so already you know you are here this morning because god has chosen you you are here this morning because god wants to reveal himself to you concerning who he is so you are a chosen generation chosen by god that you know you may know the glory of god you may know who god is then you go down to verse 28 it says come to me all who, all who labor and are heavy laden and i will give you rest take my yoke upon you and learn of me for i am gentle and lowly in heart and you will find rest for your souls so you know this word here it says here come to me all who are weary and heavy laden are you weary this morning are you heavy laden this morning you know what is god telling come to me now what does this word weary means you know weary means it refers to harder a toil in seeking to please god and know the way of salvation otherwise you know in another you know greek word for weary you know kupia means you know you work hard and come to a place of utter exhaustion you're weary spiritually you're weary day in and day out you're trying to please god you're trying to pray you're trying to read the word you're trying to live spiritually you're weary then what happens emotionally you're weary why you're worried you're anxious you know jesus christ is speaking to a group of people here they are oppressed by the roman army you know they are under oppression like russia is oppressing ukraine now you know without lights and everything all that you know so they were under the oppression of the roman army number 2 they were under taxation under heavy burden of roman tax financially they were getting crushed on top of that the pharisees sadducees and all the rabbis you know they don't lift one finger to help but you know they have put all these heavy burdens all the laws for every activity there are laws you know you have to do this do that you have to come to come home before 6 o'clock the sabbath day you can walk beyond certain miles you can carry firewood or from cooking kitchen to finance to going out talking to somebody talking to even your everything there are rules and regulations and all these things they have come and they are crushed under the burden and they are weary spiritually they are weary physically they are weary emotionally they are weary and you know some of the things you know weariness you know it causes exhaustion inside of you why because your your inner thing there's imbalance inside of you because of all that goes on inside uh, you know this sometime back you know i was reading a book uh, written by a pastor uh, and in that uh, i read a interesting story where the one day you know a well known psychiatrist you know who was a well known famous psychiatrist in us he came to this pastor the pastor also was a well known person and he said you know he offered him a handsome salary and he said you know why don't you also come and be in my office and practice so then this pastor said you know i am not a psychiatrist you know i have not studied psychiatrist so then the psychiatrist you know he told the pastor you know 95% of the patients to come to me they don't need a psychiatrist they need a priest <laughs> okay <laughs> and then he said you know most of them 90% of them they must learn how to re- receive forgiveness okay second thing you know they must know how to get rid of guilt and shame and third thing you know they must know how to be delivered from the burdens of life you know for that they only they need a priest they don't need a psychiatrist you are the one who can help them and this morning you know sometimes you know 
we have got so complicated today you know everything we have that tablet this tablet and you know go and see that person this person but we must understand that the call of jesus christ is come he said i am i am here to give you rest you know i know when i was uh, studying in the bible school in singapore there was a uh a christian psychiatrist you know <laughs> you just say you have the psychiatrist then you have the christian psychiatrist he came and then everybody was started running behind him you know like he almost overnight he became like a, like a idol you know superstar <laughs> then you know eventually you know the, uh, the the church pastor you know he said you know i want you to know i know he didn't say this out of jealousy or envy but what he said is you know remember uh, it is not man you know don't think you know by running after him you know your problems are going to be solved he said come what did jesus say come to me and i will give you rest you know today even the uh, psychiatric field you know some of the it has become so commercialized you know some of the things you know it can be even harmful to you but you know things are prescribed you know tablets are prescribed and you know it can it may help sometimes it may not help it may it can go in the other way also but what what does god say what does jesus say come to me weary and heavy laden why are we weary because what does god says you know we are we have got it all wrong what is god what, what did jesus say come to me all who are weary and heavy laden heavy laden means somebody from outside putting a burden on your back you know that is what heavy laden weariness is something that comes from within you know out of exhaustion restlessness stress and all that on top of that you know sometimes when you come to church you know the pastor will say oh, did you pray uh, did you read your bible and we put the that kind of spiritual word <laughs> on you then you go with guilt and <laughs> then get crushed on that also or oh, did you love your wife did you care for your children and <laughs> all kind of thing will come from the pulpit <laughs> external <laughs> and then both sides you know you're hammered and then you come uh, you really get crushed but you know jesus uh, he wants to help you you know that's what i want to tell you this morning he wants to lift the burden and bring healing to your soul amen you know when you have a problem you know you don't want to go to a arrogant person you know when you have some problem you want to go to somebody who is humble open you know you can open up you will know is not judgmental Do you want to go to a person like that who is jesus he says i am meek and lowly in heart you know he even i'll tell you you know on the night when he was betrayed what did he do judas he know that judas is going to betray him he is going to sell him for 30 pieces of silver he knows but in spite of knowing he is going and washing his feet how is that? you know that is the heart of jesus you know he wants to come down and serve you he wants to come down and heal your soul he wants to lift the burden but what what do what do we we say lord you look after your kingdom work i will carry my burdens <laughs> you know <laughs> but what does jesus say you give your burdens to me your problems to me your stress your worry everything you give it to me and then he says i will give you my burden and then he says my burden is light my yoke is light and my burden is is it the other way around <laughs> my yoke is easy and my burden is light what does it when you carry my burden he says i am going to come along with you but for your burdens what is the solution i have told give that to me but what do we do we carry this heavy load day in and day out we are carrying this burden that problem you know my child's problem um, my husband's problem my workplace problem 
my health problem you know today i check the pressure it is so much uh, and you know tomorrow i don't know how much it will go up you know today i went and check my glucose uh, the blood sugar uh, it is 120 uh, i don't know whether it's up or down whether it will go up you know we carry carry all this and adding stress to our life you know but what does god says what what is jesus saying give that to me don't be anxious about anything but in everything with prayer and supplication make your request known unto god and then what happens the peace of god which passeth all understanding will guard your hearts and minds in christ jesus but what do we do you know, we carry our load with us and because of that we are not free but what is he saying give your burdens to me and then i am going to give you something i am going to give you my burden my rest and my burden and i am going to walk along with you you know like you know to carry the burden with you and that is the kingdom burden so i want to encourage you you know don't live any more under the burden of your own life don't lose the joy of the lord don't lose your peace don't be anxious and worry amen because god's desire god's plan for you is rest you know somebody said you know god created the everything in 6 days and the first day of adam was a rest day so god wants you to that doesn't mean you know you be passive you don't do anything you do things but inside you have rest inside you have rest that god how does it come like i began when you are willing to fully give your life to god now that is what most of us don't like to do you know like adam you know we are very independent people you know i want to run my life the way i want you know this is like my car my petrol i will live the way i want to live you know and we say you know I- i'll go my way but what does proverb say there's a way that seemeth right unto man and in thereof are the ways of destruction you know if we go on our own way eventually you know we are going to be shipwrecked but if you fully trust god you know you are going to have peace joy and god is going to help you amen so this morning you know i have god's promise for you you know we may live in a world um, full of troubles calamities uh, problems so much of uncertainty but in the midst of all that god wants you to have peace and joy you know that itself is a testimony if you live like that that itself will become a testimony you know people will look at your life and they will say you know with all this how can you be so joyful so happy so this morning you know i want you to make a choice you know what is the choice what is the burden that you want to carry you know i do you want to carry your own burdens if you do that what will happen it's going to crush you eventually you know the weariness and the heavy laden it will bring you down it will crush you but you can exchange you can give that to jesus and then what happens he says i will give you rest and then i will give you a burden my burden which is light which is light you you won't get crushed under that burden i will give you my burden and also i will be on the other side of the walk, yoke you know i will walk along with you carrying that burden so you will not get crushed you actually you will become a blessing to others and god will use you for your glory you know one of the sad scriptures that you read in isaiah 63:3 you know i'll finish with this you know he says i have trodden the wine press alone and from the people's no one was with me 
you know god is saying here yeah, i have trodden the wine press alone and from the peoples no one was with me i looked but there was no one to help i was a paul but there was no one to uphold so my own my own arm brought me salvation and my wrath upheld me so here god is saying i have trodden the wine press alone you know god wants you to partner with him in the work of the kingdom god is saying i'm alone i'm trodding but i want you to walk with me amen so this morning you know shall we take a few moments i want you to rise to your feet you know i believe you know the holy spirit is going to lift some of the burdens some of the load uh, that is crushing you and god wants to give you peace and rest this morning some of you you know you're so restless you couldn't even focus on what i was saying you know your thoughts were going somewhere else <laughs> but this morning you know god wants to touch you god wants to take away the weariness take away the heaviness hallelujah 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 thank you lord hallelujah you know there's somebody here this morning you know you have put a signature on a certain document and you know after that you know you're stressed and you're worried and you know you're thinking about the consequences you're thinking about you know what will happen here what will happen there what will happen this but this morning you know the lord wants to set you free god wants to give you peace god wants to rest surrender everything to god because he is god almighty he can change anything he can change everything the lord is able to sustain you hallelujah thank you lord thank you father i want you to open your open your heart to jesus this morning jesus this morning hallelujah there there are ladies here you carry burdens you carry weight you know some of that has crushed you you know some of that has caused other sicknesses in your body and you know it expresses itself in other physical infirmities and trials but this morning you know god wants to deliver you god wants to set you free will you open your heart to the lord hallelujah thank you father thank you lord thank you jesus thank you lord hala bala 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 bashikire ba kutama nama shikire la bala bashikire la bala bala ora mana ma shikire la bala ba khara bala bala ba oh yes hala bala bala bashira bala ba let the heavens open lord let the heavens open this morning let the heavens open in this place hallelujah 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 oh raba shikara laba you know the lord is asking someone this morning my dear daughter you know that this is beyond your control you can't control this situation even with your own strength even with your own ability you know that it is beyond you then still why are you holding on to this still why don't you surrender it to me what you cannot control what you cannot handle the lord says i can handle i can control i can sustain i can intervene but let me in surrender give hallelujah thank you lord Thank you Jesus. Thank you Father. Hallelujah. Ha baraba shikire la bala bala ba. Oh yes, hallelujah. Will you surrender? Will you offer? Will you yield yourself? Oh, thank you Father. Thank you Lord. Oh yes, some of you you may be worried about your your business, your situation in the office, oh family situation, whatever. You know, don't carry those burdens anymore. because you have a burden bearer god says i am your burden bearer i can take on anything cast everything upon me give it to me surrender to me offer to me this morning the holy spirit wants to release his peace release his rest 
come to me all who are weary and heavy laden and i will give you rest i will give you rest hallelujah la ba la ba shikiri la ba la ba oh father i pray that as your people call upon you as your people surrender to you this morning oh let your peace come upon them let your peace and joy and rest come upon them lord let them go from this place let them go from this place oh lord with peace with peace with peace with joy with joy i speak joy i speak peace oh i speak rest this morning rest this morning hallelujah thank you lord thank you father thank you jesus hallelujah thank you lord oh yes hallelujah as you open your heart to the lord you know there's a dew dew from heaven that is coming upon you right now dew of heaven the rest of god rest of god strength of god strength of god halaba la ba la ba shikire la ba halaba la ba la ba oh hallelujah thank you lord 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 hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus hallelujah la ba la ba shikire la ba la ba la ba oh thank you jesus thank you lord you know the lord asked jeremiah you know been running with people you know if you have got so crushed and discouraged how are you going to run with horses you know the day is coming you have to run with horses you know and god says i will strengthen you like i strengthened elijah who beat the chariot of ahab ran to the palace you are going to run faster than horses it is the holy spirit who is going to strengthen you and he is going to encourage you he's going to lift you up hallelujah thank you lord thank you father thank you lord thank you jesus